In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up your Mac so that you can program in Java. Located on Schoology, I've posted three links. One to download and install Java for Mac OS X. One to download and install the Java SDK, which stands for Software Development Kit. And a third link to download and install Eclipse. Let's click the first one. So that's going to take us to this web page. And all you need to do is simply click the download button and have that complete. When it does, you'll have a uh, file that's called Java for OS 10.dmg. We're simply going to double click it. And then it'll have a little box right here, so double click that as well. And you can just click continue. Uh, you're going to be prompted to sign in at some point. Go ahead and sign in. I've already gone through this, so I'm going to cancel out for the purposes of quickly going through this video, but let that complete, and then you can move on to the second part. So you may want to pause the video at this point. But back on Schoology, the second thing to do is to download and install the Java SDK. And like I said before, that stands for Software Development Kit. So we're going to go ahead and click this link, and that's going to open up this web page. And this web page the first thing to do is click the Accept License Agreement radio button. So I'm going to go ahead and click this. And then you can scroll down about halfway down in this list right here. It says Mac OS X. It's a 227.27 megabyte file. The link over here is what you're going to click to download it. So go ahead and click the one that says Mac OS X and start that download. When that finally completes, you'll have one that looks like this say JDK for Java Development Kit and then the version will be right here currently it's version 8 release 77 so you're gonna just double click this and you'll get a window that has a box in it so double click this box and then you're gonna click continue all the way through this installation this is fairly large so I'm gonna skip out of this but you can just go ahead and complete that on your own Okay, the final thing to do, and you may want to pause the video at this point and come back when once the SDK is completed, is to download and install Eclipse. All right, so you're going to click this link. And this is going to take you to the Eclipse web page. And we can use this installer that is right here. Just make sure that it says Mac OS X right here. And then you can go ahead and click the 64-bit link. Uh, if you're not seeing this, we can also click this right here, the Eclipse IDE for Java developers. And then you can click this link right there. Either way, I'm going to go ahead and do the installer right there. It'll take you to this page, and you're going to click that download link right here. So once that completes, you'll have the last download which will say Eclipse installation for Mac 64. I'm going to double click this and it'll open uh, basically this is a zip file and it's going to uncompress it and you'll have an Eclipse ins installer. So it'll give you a pop-up that says this was downloaded from the internet. Do you trust it? Just click open. And this process is going to take a little bit of while, depending upon the speed of your computer. So again, what we're trying to install here is the Eclipse IDE for Java developers. There's other versions here as well for things like web development or C++ and PHP. But we, we're going to focus on this one here. So I'm going to go ahead and click on this. It's going to ask you where you want to install it. I'm just going to accept the, install, uh, the uh, default directory and click install. You'll have to accept the license and then just let this complete. Once this is completed, then you'll have everything necessary to run Eclipse on your computer. 